Hello friends, welcome to another video of Zeta Axis and today we are going to discuss about the process of formation of Luxury Islands. We know that Luxury Islands are group of islands which are located on the western coast of India near Kerala and Karnataka. These are the group of Luxury Islands which we can see. Now let's try to understand how these islands were formed. In our previous videos, we have studied about tectonic movement of plates as well as seafloor spreading. And because of this, the Pangaea broke down and our Indian subcontinent, which was attached to Africa, Antarctica and Australia, it also got detached and started to move in the northern direction. Here, there was reunion hotspot. So, our Indian subcontinent, when it started to move northwards, it came over this reunion hotspot. The reunion hotspot started to give out magma, which was emitted on the surface of our Indian subcontinent, forming Deccan traps. We've already discussed about Deccan traps in our previous video. Now the Indian subcontinent, it continued to move northwards. And the reunion hotspot, it also continued to give out the magma. Once the Indian subcontinent had moved away, the emission of magma from this hotspot continued in the Indian Ocean, forming large volcanic mountains. Some of these volcanic mountains were able to reach the surface of sea and form islands. And therefore, we can see that there were this cluster of islands, the Luxudeep Island, the Maldives Island, the Chagos Island. All of these were islands were created by the volcanic mountains created by this reunion hotspot. So all these group of islands are basically created by hotspot. Now let's try to understand how these hotspots create volcanic mountain chains. Here we can see that magma from lower mantle it rises up and collects in asthenosphere forming a plume. Now this magma is denser than the continental plate therefore it will not rise up but some magma through the pores will rise up and come to the surface and create these mountains but as this continental plate is moving in this direction we can see that chain of mountains are created all of them are volcanic in nature created by this hot spot supplying magma to these mountains and as soon as these mountains they move away from this mental plume you can see that they become inactive so this is how basically mountain chains are created by these hot spots. Now to better understand how these islands were created, let's see the 3D view of our Indian Ocean flow. So here we can see that this is our Indian Ocean and this is our Indian subcontinent and here we can see a chain of mountains. This chain of mountains were actually created by this reunion hot spot. And we can see here that here there is a collection of large mountains, here there is collection of large mountains and here there is collection, collection of large mountains and some of these mountains they were able to reach above the surface of sea creating islands. So we can see that these are the Luxudeep islands here while these group of islands are Maldives and here we have Chagos as we saw in our previous video. Now if we see the Indian Ocean seafloor in this view, we can clearly see volcanic chain of mountains over here. And this volcanic chain of mountains was created by the reunion hotspot which is located over here. This reunion hotspot also created these volcanic mountain chains which were formed after the Chagos island group. And because this is on a different plate, here we can see that mid oceanic ridge is there and there is a boundary between our Indian plate and African plate. So this plate might have moved in this direction that is why these islands are located over here otherwise they would have been located here. Now these kind of islands are pretty normal and we can see them in different parts of the world. Here is another example of the mountains created by similar process. Here there is Hawaiian hotspot and we can see this mountain chain. These are all volcanic mountains created in the Pacific Ocean. And because the Pacific Ocean moves in this direction, we can see that these islands are created in this way. Now if you look at the images of Luxudeep Islands, we can clearly see that they do not look like volcanic islands, but they look like coral islands. They are formed of coral reefs. So how did these volcanic islands got converted into the coral reefs? So there are basically two theories for this. The first is subsidence theory, which says that once the volcanic mountains were formed, fringe reefs started to form. Basically corals, they started to form this fringe reef. Slowly over time, this fringe reef got converted into barrier reefs. Over time, due to different regions, this mountain started to subside. 
Now, because these reefs, they wanted to stay alive, they started to grow upwards. So over the time, as we can see in the top view, the mountain has completely subsided, creating a ring of corals. This is the atoll reef. So we can see that this is how the volcanic island, which was formed by this volcanic mountain, got converted into a atoll reef, which looked like this. The second theory is called sea level rise theory and this is the most widely accepted theory which says that again when the volcanic mountain was formed slowly over time just like in the previous theory the barrier reefs were created around the volcanic mountain forming a ring like structure. Now over the time the sea level started to rise up as we can see over here. Now because the sea level started to rise up these corals they also started to rise up to stay alive however the mountain hit got below the sea surface as we can see over here. So because of this we had this ring of coral reefs which is called atoll. So this is how the coral islands of present Lakshadweep islands are formed. If you look at the image of Lakshadweep islands, we can clearly see that most of these islands are atoll reefs which were first created around the volcanic islands. But over the time, the volcanic islands they went below the sea level and therefore only the atolls are now visible and therefore most of the Lakshadweep islands look like this. I hope you got a good understanding of how these Lakshadweep islands were formed. If you have any doubts then you can ask in the comment. Thanks for watching the video. Do subscribe to the channel and if you like what we are doing then you can use the UPI ID to support us. Thanks for watching the video.